Essentially what we say is no, women have sex for the same reason men do. It feels good and it's a way to bond with somebody. It's not about getting something from the dude because when you actually look at hunter-gatherer societies, hunters go out of their way to make sure that nobody knows who killed the animals. Like the hunters will uh, exchange arrows and stuff before they go hunting. The guy who brings the animal back to the village often generally is not the one who killed it. There are all these um, very powerful uh, – Ways that societies make sure that nobody gets proud and nobody gets too much credit and everything's spread around evenly. It's fierce egalitarianism is what the hmm. scientists call it. And it's not because they're, they're you know, uh, noble savages or some shit. It's because that's the best way to mitigate risk in a hunter-gatherer society, right? So, like, you go hunting today. You hit – you get a deer. I didn't get one. I might not get one for a week, right? But you're not going to get one every day. It's sporadic. You come back, you don't have any refrigeration anyway, so it's not like you could keep it all for yourself and your wife and your kids, right? And uh, and it mitigates risk. So everybody eats. You know, whether you get it or I get it, we all eat. Plus, we're all really highly interdependent. So the last thing we need is you and me fighting over who's a better hunter and, you know, who's fucking whose wife and all this kind of bullshit because that splits up the, the group. So what we argue in Sex at Dawn is that human sexuality was actually a way to bond the group together. And people were having sex with different people simultaneously and raising children together. And this obsession with paternity – which is assumed to be part of our DNA, is actually a response to agriculture, which is just 10,000 years ago, which is like 5% or less of our existence as a species. So it's a response to staying put, which allowed people to make much larger civilizations. Yeah. To, yeah. In, in a, a nutshell, essentially, it was when people stayed put, they could accumulate resources. Right. Right. Whether it's domesticated animals or land or buildings or wheat or whatever. And so once that happens – then there's a completely different sense of property, right? Because in a hunter-gatherer society, there's very little property because they're nomadic. So you don't want to carry shit around, right? And um, whatever there is is shared. And uh, when you shift to agriculture, suddenly there's a lot of property and it's not shared. It's, it's hoarded. It's controlled by individual families or people. So that's when paternity becomes a big deal because you spent your life accumulating all these resources. You want them to go to your sons, right? And it's also, interestingly, the first time that people really understood that sex caused babies. Because before that, everybody's just having sex and women are having babies. There's no reason to think that sex is causing the babies, right? Wow. But then when you've got domesticated animals and you see like, oh, okay, the black bull fucked that white cow and now we got these black and white calves. Oh, right. I get it, right? So you start putting that together when you're living around a lot of domesticated animals and breeding. And so that's when women became the property of men. If you read uh, the Old Testament, it says, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Right? It's about property. Yeah. It's not about respecting his marriage. Read it in context. Nor his house, nor his ox, nor his slaves, nor his she-ass, whatever a she-ass is. So it's, you know, keep your hands off your neighbor's stuff, and the wife is just part of his stuff. So that's radically different from the way men and women interacted in hunter-gatherer societies, where women had very high status, equal to or sometimes higher than men's, because the women supplied – uh, over half of the calories that people lived on, right? The gathering is what brought the food in every day. The hunting was an occasional bonus. 